There's a rumor, and I've always wanted to ask you this. When you were rehearsing the Lendler, I don't think I had arrived yet, did you show up in tights to rehearse the dance? There's this joke going around that you did. Well, I, I always no. wore tights when I worked <laughs> I'm the dance. serious. No, I did don't. you do it as a, it must have been a joke, right? Well, of course it was, but uh, they took it absolutely straight. They thought, <laughs> who is this extraordinary sort of fargol who has come into the room? It looked like one of those Albanian vampires that were, <laughs> to, who are supposed to wear high heels, you know. They, they come I back. saw you do a Hamlet, was, and your legs were great, so I was wondering if you were just Just showing, showing off. off. Yes. No, 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 no. No, I thought that was honestly what you're supposed to do. I, I guess I'd seen too many ballets when I was young. Well, you were in rehearsal clothes, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, that's right. I yeah. thought that's what you're doing. You're I loved dance. shooting that scene. Well, it was magical, and you were extraordinary in it because I dance like some ghastly cripple. I'm really Could the worst dancer me. in the world. Yeah. No, but when you get paid for it, you know, suddenly <laughs> the, the, you have wings. You find you have wings. <laughs>carried me through that. You well, there was a lot of subtext in that scene. There were a few that had a lot of subtext. Yeah, we we fell in love, yeah. and it wasn't difficult to fall in no, love. No. Not with you, true. darling, the way you look. <laughs> I'd already fallen in love with myself in my tights earlier, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten about that when you came on. <laughs> but there was a lot of unspoken something going on there, for real, yes. for the characters. Yes, and I then, think so. uh, um, And there was a lot in... Um, when I came back from the Abbey, I think there was some subtext there about you're, you're wondering if I was going to stay or not going to yes, stay. Yes, well, I was always both released as Captain Von Trapp and me that when you, whenever you came back from the Abbey. <laughs> I just was missed you dreadfully when I you see. weren't around. Uh, only the children. No. Something that you say just before the gazebo scene began, Bob let us work that up a little bit. Yes. And you said something like, uh, well, things were... All wrong when you went away. Do you remember that? Yes. And you got terribly sort of petty about it. Yes, and, and petulant. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, nothing was the same when you were away, and it'll be all wrong again after you leave. And I just thought perhaps you might uh, change your mind. And I loved that. I, I adored yeah. that. Well, that, that was Ernie again, you know. Was it? I think so. Yeah. I think he. he really but it made was it your no. It, but it was your interpretation of it, though. You got kind of. It wasn't easy when Maria was away, and you much preferred having things smooth, which I think a lot of husbands and yeah. guys do, you yeah. know. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it, I think he was also irritated with what he thought was her nun-like habits, only to discover that she wasn't like that at all. Yeah. And that threw him too. Yes. I don't think he liked being fooled like that. Yes. Well, I, I made a remark earlier when they asked me, what was your favorite time? I said, off the set. Oh. No, no, no. no. Speaking but, of off but, the set, by the way, I'll, I'll remember my other favorite one in a second. You were phenomenal off the set in that you kept us all very jolly. You would play the piano brilliantly till very, very late at night in the oh, hotel. Oh, darling, it, thank you very much, but it was, I think you, we were all very south to, to be able to tell her mm, I played no, brilliantly. No, you be, know you did. And, uh, no, no, but we were very, I was constantly at that piano. I had great fun in the little Bristol hotel lobby. I know, I know. And there know. was an amazing amount of people you could play to. You were trained as a pianist, weren't you? Yeah, for a little while, and then yeah. I, I jutted out on my own and played mostly by ear, actually. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I play mostly by ear, and, and, and now I just play when I'm Well, I, I don't know how you soused. play Rachmaninoff by ear, my friend. You can, actually. You can fool around with the left hand to make it sound like poor old Racky. You, <laughs> you just leave out 25,000 notes, and you're, you're doing all right. <laughs> I see. Well, it was very entertaining, I must say, and kept oh, us all going. God. You didn't ever sing in the lobby, did you? No. I guess you felt, I guess you felt <laughs> I was doing enough, enough in the, the hills, set. I think, yes. That's, that's right. What about Sweet Richard Hyden? Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. The, Darling the famous Matt. Mr. Carp. He, yes. He made his career out of they being the, the fish. It is unfair, I admit it. But someday that'll be changed. <laughs> I shall get the fame, too. <laughs> He also was somebody that kept us cheerful. Oh, yeah, he had the greatest stories. He must have come from vaudeville, no, Richard? He must have done the, I the vaudeville I actually don't circle. know, yeah. Because that was an act that was famous not only on stage but on screen. Mr. Carr. Mr. Carr, yeah. yeah. I don't ever recall seeing it, though. And, and he was, a, it was such an odd fun choice for that character in the movie, but it worked a treat. Yeah, He was yeah. just wonderful. He belonged. But he was this sweet, quirky, gentle, yeah. funny, astringent mm -hmm. man. 
Does that sum it up? It does, doesn't it? I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I wish I was him to thank you for <laughs> I loved him very much. He was darling. Yeah, I did yeah. too. And I loved Eleanor. Yes. Who was so extraordinarily beautiful. And, Isn't she? And, and yeah. such a sweetie too. Yeah. But the only thing that really annoyed me was that everybody was going off to hear these wonderful concerts at the uh, Mozart's house and things like that. And I was so exhausted by the end of the day. You never went I to never those rehearsals out. with Carrie Anne? No, no. From Carrie Anne and... and uh, did you? Yeah, I got to see two. Oh, my yes, God. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I had Emma being very, very young, and I had her nanny well, with I me. Well, I know. And, uh, you had all that And also, on. I really was wiped out, but... Uh, I, don't I, don't know, I don't know how you did it and carried the movie at the same time. It was extraordinary. No, yeah, come yeah. on, Chris. Well, I think also Austria brought us all... You know, when we, when we work out of our own environment, if we work in some sort of country that we don't know quite as well as we do our own and, and we and an attractive country like Austria, I think it lifts the morale immediately. Yeah. It makes us all feel that we're much yes. more together. And it was and, yeah. extraordinarily beautiful. I never thought that one could top that opening shot. That yes. was the most extraordinary. You twirling in the Bavarian hills just above Hitler's Bechtus Garden, <laughs> yes, which was just on the other the, side. Yes, no. yes. And the ruins of Goering's yeah. uh, house. And just do you the, remember uh, how much it rained? Oh, you, God, It yeah. never stopped. Well, we had the fern, remember the fern? We were all yeah. terrible. The fern in Austria is the, is the moment when actually pe uh, criminals can get off. For the, having committed for, for some having terrible crime. Yes. During the fern, yes. because it's that heavy heaviness that hits It the, comes from Italy, doesn't it? Yeah. I well, think. it comes over the mountains, yeah. and, and, and it shuts all the air, and there's a natural depression, and you get, you have to take pills for it, actually. I just drank heavily, <laughs> <laughs> which got me out of it in no time. But uh, we were all, remember, scared of the fern. Yeah. I think we were a bit mad for a while. At least I know I went, yes. went slightly It took bothered. a while to settle in, but I must say, it's indelibly uh, it printed in my mind, the colors, the... The feeling, the, 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 when there's fresh, fresh air in the Alps, when it was beautiful. Oh, and oh no. It's, and, and I've been back many times have since. You, I've only been back, no, I've been back twice. Yeah, and yeah. I have been back a, a lot. And yes. I've gone to that festival and really, really seen the, the music and loved, loved it. Mm. And it looks so prosperous now, the town. And I know that it's largely due to the sound, the sound of music. Of music the, which the, I don't the, know, I don't know if I the Austrians loved it as much no, as they, they do didn't. now, you know. Well, they probably are grateful to a certain extent, but they did not love the movie. Yes. They'd, they'd, they'd been saturated with documentary film after documentary film about the Trapp family. And, and made and their I, own, I think. And made their own, yeah. and a very good one it was too, I Yeah, think. yeah. And so, what are they going to do? And we were wearing the wrong clothes. They, they were all too, too, too light. Correctly so, because as it turned out, it gave a, 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 yes. a joyous lift to the movie. Yes. But I remember going to Bob and Wise and saying, please, can't I buy I've got this wonderful, elegant, old, dark green Loden dinner jacket that, 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 that you, I can buy at Lance. Yes. Why not use that in the movie? It's perfectly beautiful and authentic. Yes. No, no, he insisted on... on and and, and actually, he was quite right. Yes. For the rest of the world, it worked that way. And Dorothy Jenkins, who did the costumes, yes. did such a beautiful job. Yes. Do you remember shooting in the Abbey? I do very clearly. That beautiful our Abbey marriage, of Monza. Our yes, our marriage, yes. yes. One of some a, of the most beautiful photography. It took Ted McCord like two oh, days yes. to just get it lit. Yes, I know. I was just saying that Ted um, should have got some recognition and an award for that. He yeah. invented that scrim that made Austria not look like a picture postcard. Yes. He made it bright. It made the hills more natural looking. Because if he'd used the sort of Technicolor effect, the hills would have been so 
Schlag, I mean, my God. <laughs> also, were... I've, I've often spoken about the rain clouds that lent such strength oh, and texture oh, to the film. Fabulous, yeah. yeah and Sitting right on top of you, On too. top of us, yes, yes and exploding yes. from yeah. time to time. I know we were both very anxious about keeping the astringency in the story because with so many, seven children and the beautiful countryside, and the religious aspect and, and the love story, we thought it would get awfully cloying, cloying and sugary. Did you worry about it before we started? Oh, terribly. I worried from the beginning that I signed my contract. I started to worry about it. Yeah. No, but it was important that we worried about it. Yes. Because, uh, as I said in an earlier interview somewhere back in 1923, mm -hmm. that Robert Wise was our savior in that. Yes. Uh, in that recipe. He, too, was, was afraid of it, and he kept it. Yes. He kept the whole thing so unsentimental all through. Yeah. He really, really, really... But really I did. think, in all honesty, and I'm not just doing it to flatter you, but I think that first scene in the... Uh, in the house when you meet Maria, you set the tone. You were the kind of wonderful, um, strong glue that, oh, that no, held no, the whole film. You, really. but, we all, we, but we all felt the same. Yeah, but we, I know we worked on that, the, the, your, your strictness and my, uh, yes, and, and my being so aghast at seeing seven of them and uh, not, not just accepting it blindly, but saying seven children. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> In the future, you'll kindly remember there are certain rooms in this house which are not to be disturbed. Yes, Captain, sir. And why do you stare at me that way? Well, you don't look at all like a sea captain, sir. I'm afraid you don't look very much like a governess. I loved the fact that Ernie did help me in my character to to have some humor and have some sort of ironic, cynical attitude, because the captain was such a sort of wet <laughs> before <laughs> Ernie, Lehman, Ernie Lehman got, got, yes. got to him. Yeah. And uh, that, that was great help, great it help was. for me. And yeah. it, kept, it kept it again more And also, human. the lovely thing is, is that everybody had an, uh, he, he brought a lovely arc to everyone's character. It's not to say that the original show didn't have one too, but I think in the film it was even enhanced more. Oh, it was much more of a story, and it, it, yeah. and, and it had more relationships. There was no time in the play. To, I mean, Mary Martin sang 25 songs, and Theo Bickell, who played the part absolutely beautifully, has a terrific voice, and he plays the guitar like a dream, had very little to say, and then the minute he'd finished, Mary came on and sang another <laughs> 25 songs. So, so it wasn't exactly a, a, a piece a deux. No. You know what we must talk about, and what? that is the scene in the gazebo when oh, yeah. dear Bob Wise had to, uh, well, well, we tested his patience, I think, to the limit. Yeah, well, you day. started off, because... Oh, yes, because you don't remember. <laughs> no, no, I don't remember anything um, nasty about the film at all. What it was was the love scene in the gazebo between the captain and Maria. <sighs> the Reverend Mother always says, when the Lord closes a door somewhere, he opens a window. What else does the Reverend Mother say? That you have to look for your life. Is that why you came back? Because it was so long ago, they used those huge spotlights, which were called Klieg spotlights, and our director of photography tipped them all the way to the floor down every column of the hexagonal uh, um, gazebo. And uh, because they were the, the carbons inside the um, spotlights uh, began to sort of rub together, and that's what makes the light, of course. Yes. But they, uh, right. no, don't go there. <laughs> don't and, go there? <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, what did they sound like? <laughs> terrible groans. I love you. Oh, can this be happening to me? Have you ever done a song with anyone quite so close in your no, life? No, I mean, uh, you were completely out of focus. Were like, like, yes. yes, like this. And that also started me going. No, I, I, you know what it was. It was the sounds to start with, and I saw your eyes squeeze down to an <laughs> F-stop, whatever. It was also that terrible thought of how could anyone speak? I mean, for instance, if, if the head nun had sung climb every mountain like that to somebody. She'd go up to a nun and say, climb every mountain. I mean, it was just ludicrous <laughs> that we were singing so loud to but each you know other. what? We, we managed all right, I yeah, think. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Remember, we had to break for Actually, lunch. Actually, I don't know about you, but we I sort of liked it. We broke for lunch because Wise said, 
this is ridiculous. Cut. We're going to go. No, no. Out. And also, Bob said, I think we'd better take a two hour lunch and you'd all better go off and collect yourselves because we really were. Yeah. I was weeping. But then I, we came back. After and the, the lights made this terrible noise, noise all again. over again. And um, that was the end of it. Yeah, we just laughed. Ourselves. So then, Bob, if you recall, Bob compromised and said, I tell you what, let me pull you into this silhouette shot by the door. <laughs> and so that your unprofessional, idiotic laughing, if you happen to do it, uh, will not be seen. seen. And of course, we, it sobered us up somewhat. And that stuck in the movie. The and movie, it stayed it in the movie and looked, shot, looked beautiful. And yes. it just shows what a great director he was to think yes, of We it. should have run everything in silhouette, actually. When... These days, it would be fine. <laughs> so it's now 40 years. Yes, and neither of us are a day older. <laughs> How lovely you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't feel like it, does it? No, it doesn't, because it's always there, sort of beating at our door. Reminded because every young generation yes. that grows up sees it. I know. Uh, I mean, I. But it truly uh, feels like about twenty years ago, not or twenty-five no, no, maybe, no, but not no, no. forty. Not forty. It's no. like seven children, you know, forty years. Yes. Well, I, well, don't forget we were very young when we did it. Yeah, I was course. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were a good twelve. <laughs> but I guess after all that uh, time, I, we we did do something rather good as Maria and the captain. Uh, yeah, Maria, yeah. It was Maria that said it. I must have done something good. Yeah, yeah. We did. I must have done something.